Good morning, Virgo. So I'm in the Philippines on an island and I'm right next to the ocean. So we may hear some children on the beach or motorboats going past. Generally not too noisy, but hopefully it won't disturb us. Just letting you know in advance. All right, so this is tuning into Virgo, at Virgo the Collective, and there are other, and this is a love reading, to explore what is coming up for you. So just give me a moment to tune in. So today, while I'm shuffling the cards, I'm going to be exploring the energies between you and the other in the past, present, and future. I'm going to be exploring the feelings as well as the intentions. And then I'm going to pick three cards to reflect the uh, unified energies between the two of you. And then I'm going to pick some cards to find out how best to proceed forward. I'm also going to add some cards uh, from the Lenormand deck as well as from the Asha Tarot deck. Alrighty, so if you just give me a moment, I'm going to pick these cards and then we can dive straight in. I would also like to ask that if you enjoy my channel, please to like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell. Okay, so, Virgo. Alright, yep, this card fell out while I was shuffling. The King of Wands, so we're dealing with Fire Sign, possibly. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. energies between the two of you. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to pick three cards from the Asho spread for Virgo and the other, the collective Virgo and the other cards to get more information from Spirit about this reading. Okay. We've got Going With The Flow, The Fool. Let's get one more card. And Intensity. And then from the Lenormand deck, I do see that for both of you there is a desire for the relationship uh, we have the two of cups card coming up but I also see that both of you are wanting some space from whatever it is that's going on in the present moment um, I can see that the passion is um, so so we have the knight of cups in the present moment for the unifying feelings between the two of you so it means that you both wanting this emotional connection. Um, I, f I see that you feel very strongly about them. Uh, you, you feel, you find them to be, uh, you feel a very strong heart connection to them. And they feel a very strong passion for you, uh, Virgo. They see you as very passionate and um, this is, they feel very sexual towards you. you, you um, 
Yeah, there's a, there's a strong connection between the two of you. You coming up as the Queen of Cups, so there's a softness to you around them. And they coming up as the King of Wands, so um, very charismatic and, and fiery. They could be a fire sign, as I mentioned, so Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. And, and then we've got the Page of Swords over here, so it's, it's talking about... Um, yeah, it's, it's, I can see your intentions are, are both for a happy family relationship, connection, for the connection. Um, your, your intentions with them are, uh, we've got the High Priestess card and she's really about not knowing what the unknown is, not understanding that life is a mystery. And so bringing this openness and this, I don't want to say curiosity, but almost allowing the spaciousness to see what will happen. Um, she also, I also feel like you have a sense, your intuition sense, that this relationship is important. Um, for the other person, I have the, the Three of Swords. This is the Heartbreak card. So I'm not sure what's going on for them, but um, despite the Heartbreak card being there, uh, we still have this both of the intention from both of you for a happy connection. So. Um, possibly they are still carrying pain from the past, uh, from some, from another relationship, which they're bringing into this connection. Um, even though their intention is for this happy relationship, and I can see both of you like uh, very curious and wanting to learn new things from each other with the connection. So there, there may be a very nice intellectual connection between the two of you. This is how you feel about each other. This was in the past. So did I mention that I am on the beach and it can get a little bit noisy? If you hear children having fun on the beach, hopefully it's not too much of a disturbance. So let me continue. Um, so in the present moment, for you, your intentions is the will of fortune. And I feel like this is very much about... Um, waiting to see what's waiting to see what's going to where it's flowing towards um, waiting to see where it's moving towards the other person is is not in such a good place they're not in a very abundant place I see them uh, a little bit stuck and it may have something to do with whatever that heartbreak was or that pain was, or that loss was from, from the past, uh, because they're not fully able to connect to the abundance within the relationship. They're not fully able to be present within the connection. They're going through, um, they're going through something. Um, they, may, they may not fully be taking the connection seriously, because I do see them here with the, the six of ones as feelings, and that can sometimes mean that they feel like they have you under their fingers, so to speak. Um, for you, I see you managing the feelings right now in this connection, even though both of you still want the relationship. Um, it's coming up as a knight of cups and not a, a, a king of cups, so it's... it's um, yeah, it's, it's kind of lessened in its intensity, especially with the Knight of Wands over here upside down. It, it shows me that um, the passion has taken a stop and the uh, intensity of the connection has kind of taken a pause as well. So I see you kind of going with the flow with it. You're, you're managing your emotions around it. Um, but I can see for both of you just w wanting to and needing to take a break, taking time out from whatever it is that's happening here. Then in the future, and I do see I've got the mice card over here, so it's almost like dwindling successful emotions. So the three cards that came up is mice, key, and moon. And uh, dwindling is like petty little things here and there that are affecting the emotional success. And it's kind of deteriorating the emotional success. It's, there's some kind of loss that's happening at the moment. Um, the card that I get here, it says concerns surrounding the family. A spouse is under a lot of pressure because of a needy family member. 
Don't place any extra pressure on him. This phase will eventually pass and the closeness between the two of you will be restored. So that's that's promising and that may have something to do with the, the three of swords uh, in the past over there. Um, and yeah, I do see that it is keeping you both feeling a little bit trapped uh, because I have got the eight of swords. So possibly whatever it is that's going on is creating some kind of it's not allowing things to feel free and flowing you both feel a little bit trapped by the relationship by whatever it is that's going on but i i really see you holding space for it virgo i see you staying in balance with the connection you're um you're you're managing it really really well your intentions is to keep things flowing keep things going throughout the reading i really see you very calm and composed. Um, you know, I have, I have the world card over here. So um, I'm, I'm curious to understand what that means, that she knows. So yeah, with regards to the future, I see them, uh, their intentions is for happiness, but they're, they're experiencing a lot of anxiety. And it is, it is creating a fatigue and exhaustion within the relationship. Um, I also see that the intention is to work together and to bring balance back to the relationship. But you're starting to feel like some kind of cycle is, is, is coming to an end. You're wanting some cy the cycle of whatever is going on here to come to an end. And you're wanting to move away from these challenging uh, times that you're going through with your partner. Um, I have got the, the going with the flow card, which is what I feel you're doing, um, especially with the temperance card over here and the wheel of fortune. At least these are your intentions. With your feelings, I see um, as well, you're, you're really, you know, attempting to manage the situation. I can see there's a lot of intensity in what's playing out because the intensity card is coming up. So it shows that this is a strong experience that you're going through, that you're having to meet. And then I've got the full card, which is talking about just letting go and trusting. I've also got the full card over here wanting to come out. Um, so I feel like there is going to be a shift. And um, But let's, let's see, because there's some kind of loss that's happening right now. So let's see where this leads us. Where, what happens after this nine of wands over here? Where does, where does this lead to for Virgo and the other? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I see that you will be taking some time out. The Hermit card is coming up. In order for the full, the full card to put down the burden. So, um, you will be taking space. And it's about just putting down this burden that you've been carrying whatever it is that you've been carrying uh, in order to reach this space of letting go and new beginnings i've also got the eight of i've got the eight of cups card coming up in the death card so um you know this can indicate this can indicate some kind of ending and a walking away i have to admit i do have the world card over here for you virgo and it seems like you've had enough and wanting to close the chapter so it feels like these cards are confirming what's going on um i really i really do see that you have your intentions have always been good um with regards to to this connection but something is is not working and i i feel like it's coming to an end I want to see what the best um, way for you to proceed forward is, Virgo. Um, let's just get the world card over here. What is the best way for Virgo to proceed forward? I mean, that pretty much sums it up. It, you know, it's, um, it, the relationship is coming to an end. So, um, you know, this could mean that the relationship needs to come to an end and in order to give space to whatever healing needs to happen. Um, but, but, and maybe there's a possibility that this will allow something in the future to ignite again. I'm getting the walking away card again, so this may be a final deal. 
So what three cards for Virgo, how to proceed forward? Okay. Um, so it's talking about the King of Cups. So again, this could be um, the relationship. There's, it's, it's talking about things are not clear with the relationship. There's too much confusion. And um, it's talking about you grounding yourself, needing to ground yourself uh, by ending the relationship and detaching, uh, bringing the relationship to the end. So I've got the strength card coming up and it's strength card is about the ability to face, it's, it's about going inwards and facing the demons within, facing um, whatever this relationship has triggered for you, whatever it's pushed up for you. Um, whatever illusions that may have existed within the relationship that you didn't see clearly. Um, it's, it's really about going inwards and in order to find your stability and your security and your grounding again, because you are an earth sign and I've got the king of pentacles coming up over here, Virgo. So it's, it's just saying there's so much confusion, there's too much nebulousness around this and it's, it's bringing this to an end and then going inwards, detaching from the situation. But making this about you going inwards and and seeing what's there that needs to be met how were you misled by the situation how did you not see things clearly um how did you have deluded ideals or fantasies about how you wanted things to look that were not that were not real okay so i hope that shed some light on the situation and if you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear your comments if you have any feedback that you'd like to share. Um, I've got the Nine of Cups card coming up, which indicates independence coming your way. Um, but not just independence, uh, abundance, uh, individual abundance and fulfillment. Thank you. Bye.